what's up guys i'm dan h and welcome to the project today we're over here with the green hornet wj and we got ourselves some upper and lower control arms can't wait to get these on this bad boy finally all right guys check this out we got a beautiful new set of upper and lower front control arms courtesy of max speeding rods thank you so much aaron can't wait to get this in the vehicle actually i was so excited to get them i jacked up this bad boy and was waiting for the control arms to come in the mail when i finally opened the box i realized that it didn't come with the bushings to go on the axle so this baby has been sitting up here waiting for a week for these to come from Amazon and uh, I think we're ready to start now finally I'm so excited so let's just take a quick once over of this vehicle do a little safety check we got this thing on jack stands right up here on the front we got the tires down here for some safety and we got the rear blocked with some nice Belgian block so let's dig in all right so since this thing was on jack stands for about a week I figured I'd address some issues one being this dirty oil pan I went ahead and scrubbed that up gave it a shot of paint so that's not looking so rusty and crusty and another thing one of my great subscribers pointed out that my drag link was on upside down so you can see here this tie rod and it bumps out it gives clearance for this little sway bar arm right there this uh this thing was hit <laughs> multiple times that's how bad it was um you want this down here this gives you clearance this bumps out and i actually had to replace this tie rod up here um when i took this down the uh the threads were stripped on that ball joint up there so this is a new upper tie rod that goes to the pitman arm again we got our old drag link reinstalled the right way and uh, I put cotter pins on because the castle nuts didn't have cotter pins so we are good to go now this is nice and tight nice and sturdy and our steering wheel is straight congratulations to me I got new control arms so I'm thinking I'm gonna go about this I'm gonna do the driver top then I'll do the driver lower and maybe I'll do the passenger upper and then passenger lower. I'm not sure. I don't know the correct order. I've never done WJ control arms yet. Um, so I'm thinking I'll just give that a shot. Uh, what could go wrong, right? I'm in a jet. What could go wrong? Famous last words. I just jinxed the day. Great. Okay, I'm curious to see if getting the sway bar end link will be able to drop this front end a little more, give me a little bit more room to work with. So I got my Motivex wobble right there. Thank you, Chris Watson. Hit up Chris Watson for all your Motivex tool needs. He is the man. And here we go, 15 millimeter in the front, 18 in the back. There we go, a little more room, pretty cool. You know what, maybe we could even wiggle this spring out. Get some more room for that bolt right back there. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, sweet. I am really glad I took that off because now you guys can get a front row seat at the action and I'm gonna work where that spring was. So I got my T50 impact bit right here on my big dog DeWalt. I got the 15 millimeter wrench right on there let's give this a hit see if this comes out easy peasy there we go all right see how that control arm just sprung right up there that means it was tightened in the position it was sitting on the ground in which is good i usually forget to do that thanks guys for reminding me you want it to be tightened and it's normal resting stance. This way it puts no unneeded pressure on the bushings. So there we go, bolt one is out. The upper upper bolt you will find nestled in the frame. Hey, peekaboo. <laughs> All right, 14 looks like it's gonna do the job here. So we got a 14 impact on a little extension. Of course, we're gonna hook it up to the big dog. But on the other side of that, deep down in here, we have our 15 millimeter wrench right up there. Ah, 
man. Come on. Ugh. Magnet. Down in a hole. Got him. I got time. Got him. Look at this funky bolt. There it is. Ugh. Breathe the lines attached. Come on. Yuck. Look at this, guys. Nice rip right up here. Can these bushings cause death wobble? You better believe it. Nice tear in there. Also, I'd say these are pretty worn. If I could wiggle it like this with my hand, the Jeep front end could wiggle it too. All right, next thing we're gonna do is zap out this crusty old bushing, replace it with a nice new bushing. Now I got these on Amazon. I got this link from my buddy Doug at DE in the Garage. Thank you, buddy. He came through with this link. I had to order these because I went to the auto parts store. And good old AutoZone gave me rear bushings. They're not the same. Make sure you get the right ones. Hence, a week later, but what are you gonna do? So, thank you again, Doug. All right, I'm gonna work this thing in the old air hammer. I got the chisel tool on here. This thing comes in handy, especially to pop out broken shock bolts on your XJs. And the last time I used this thing was to get the good old rim off this bad boy. I had to cut a rim off. <laughs> Love the air hammer, so I highly recommend it. Okay, here we go. Well, there she be. Wow, what a hole. Wow, what a hole. <laughs> and look at this bee. This is not fun. Definitely get an air hammer. It's much better than a chisel and hammer. Believe you me. Believe you me. Ugh. Clean up that hole. A little bit of brake clean. I'm gonna hit this with some sandpaper. I don't wanna take off metal, I just wanna clean it up. Got some 400 grit paper in here. And now is also a good time to clean any Mars you might have with a Dremel. And of course, if I didn't mention it before, goggles and gloves. There we go. Gonna want it smooth to the naked touch. Gave this little bushing a nice little shine. Help it slide in there a little better. All right, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. Nope, these things are usually a pain, and you gotta press them in. So I'm gonna use a ball joint press, but I'm gonna get a little grease on this thing, help it slide in a little easier. All right, just gonna line this up, and then I'm gonna just tap it in with the hammer, get it started. Yeah, no, uh, it doesn't want to go in. All right, let me just see if I could press this thing in. This is so awkward. It's so heavy, and there's no room. Ugh, come on. What a pain. What a pain. The bushing refuses to go in. So, benchtop grinder. Got to give this thing a little bevel, or a chamfer. There we go, now we're talking. This thing's going in. WD-40. How's it going? This thing's kicking my ass. Can I get you anything? Ice cold beer. Ice cold beer. That's what's up. Yeah, guess all I needed was a little bevel edge. Hey, there she is, guys. Nice and flush, just like the original one was. Now we're just going to go ahead and pick ourselves an upper control arm. All right, in order to make this a complete factory swap, I had to go ahead and drill myself a 3 16 hole for this little clip on that vent tube. So went ahead, drilled that in, trusty drill bit. Got my hole and I popped her in. All right, let's put this on. All right, here we go. Let's get this control on, man. Look 
gonna wiggle this right up here where it belongs. I'm looking right through the hole. I can see it's lining up. Go ahead and punch this thing right through. Now I gotta get my little flag nut. Where did it go? It's way down here. There we go. Reach across. Da -da -da -da. Get hand tighten this right now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend the control arm is in its up position. I'm gonna tighten it down up here. You're kidding. I broke my bolt. Cheat my life. Well, got this broken WJ control arm bolt and I found an XJ upper control arm flag bolt. So I popped this off right here. Gonna go ahead and take off the nut for this one. And now what we're left is something very similar. Look at this, guys. So I'm about to turn an XJ upper control arm bolt into a WJ upper control arm bolt. All I gotta do is swap this giant chunk of steel. There we go. There is our bolt to be. Got some nice beveled edges and now uh, let's weld her up. Yeah, you know, that's about a solid D minus, but <laughs> it's just still a passing grade. All right, we did it. There we go, guys. World's first XJ part on the WJ. <laughs> You've seen it all right here on the project. All right, so since we tighten the upper control arm in the up position, I'm thinking we'll just have to jack up the axle a little bit. Then we could bring down the control arm to meet its hole. I was able to get a screwdriver in there and then I jacked it up and it looks pretty squared up now. I'm gonna try to slide the screwdriver out and punch in my bolt at the same time, thus filling the gap and getting this right where I need it to be. Yes! All right. Beautiful. Well, goodness, I really hope the top ones are the hardest. I'm guessing they are because I had to replace the bushings, but now on to the lower and driver side because I'm staying on this side. So here we go, 21 millimeter on inside and out. Go ahead and do the bottom, same way. <laughs> While I have you guys set up right here, I'm just going to install the new ones without even moving. Hopefully everything will be right where it should be in its place. That would be super duper. Hand tighten that. Nut. All right, so just like the upper arm, I'm gonna jack up the lower arm to pretend that it's in its normal ride height. Right there. Good. Now I'm gonna tighten it up so I don't stress the bushings. Ha! Driver's side is done! Well, not entirely. I gotta put back the spring. Oopsie! Whew! Man, I'm smoked. I'm only halfway done. Oh, time for the passenger side.
You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you suck. Oh, God. <sighs> Wowee. Look at this bushing, guys. Boop. Alright, get a load of this contraption. Uh, it don't look right, it don't feel right. But it's the only thing I could do to get something going on here to press this in. Just want to get it a little tighter. There we go. Now I'm going to have to put something in here as a wedge because you don't want to collapse these two pieces of metal that will defeat the whole purpose of a bushing. Alright, wedge the meaty part of a wrench right in there. Get a lot of surface area. And we'll just crank this in. Pray it takes. <sighs> I think she's in. Hey. Nice. Now that's a bushing. Whoo! Send this one right where it needs to be. All right, putting that flag nut on the bolt, semi blind. I can feel it. There we go. All right, let's get this back on. Let's push this control arm up. We'll tighten it in the up position. Very nice. Uh, not gonna break this one. <laughs> Broken nail though. All right, thanks to the help of this ratchet strap, keeping this thing to the passenger side. And this old come along here, got from my father when he helped me fix my Mustang that I smacked up back in 2004. Thank you, daddy. Thank you, daddy. I was able to get this bolt halfway in. Still got some more to play with. It's not quite lined up in there, but we will get it. I know it. Thank you, Jesus. All right, I'm gonna try something. While everything's still jacked, ratcheted, and come along together, I'm just gonna go for it. See if I can get these control arms off without this thing shifting on me. Probably not, but I'll try. Looks like that's a little too much tension on the come along. <laughs> uh, I love seeing this. Just totally justifies the job. All right, this one. <laughs> Musical Jeep. This one's going to go in the same way it came out. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And now we got to release this come along a lot. Change of plans, going with the top one first. I just couldn't get the top in with the bottom one in place, but now it seems like the bottom one is gonna be much easier. Jacking it up with my foot. The hole is right here. Little tappy, little tappy. There we go. Much better.
Okay. <laughs> you just gave me good luck. Friggin' got it. All right, we did it, guys. All the bolts are in, finally. Yahoo! All we gotta do is put the nuts on, then we can tighten them right up because I already jacked up the suspension to simulate its ride height. All right, guys, let's look at the bed. Here we go, man. Every single one of these bushings is shot. It's just garbage beyond belief. So I'm really glad I did this project. Thank you so much, Max Speeding Rods. Really appreciate the control arms. Now let's get this thing on the ground and rolling. All right, the Jeep is back on the ground after a week, finally. And just so you guys know, here are all the tools I use for this job. There you go, laid out nice and neat for you. Yeah, my goodness. And this is at least a three or four beer project. Let's go for a ride. Wait, yeah, the beers are burned off by now. We're good. Oh man, that was one hell of a job, but it was worth it. This thing instantly feels better. As soon as I backed out of my driveway, I could feel how tight the steering was. The, uh, the bushings didn't squeak going down that little bump at the end, and man, every turn is like a dream. I feel like I'm floating on a cloud. This is amazing. Not to toot my own horn, but beep beep, baby. Now, if I was gonna pay for this job, if I, if I was gonna pay myself for this job, I don't know, man. I don't know what the hourly rate is for labor, but uh, I'm sure it's expensive. And this thing took me almost eight hours. Now I was fiddling around with the camera half the time and I did break that bolt and I had to do some emergency welding to fix that upper control arm bolt. Man, that sucked. But yeah, uh, maybe $1,000. I don't know, it's a $1,000 job, but it was free for me thanks to Max Speeding Rods. And uh, man, I really appreciate it. Just a little blood, sweat, and tears, and some beers. Uh, I'm covered head to toe in filth and in sweat, but got the job done. So I think that's gonna be a wrap. Uh, we got more stuff to do, guys. I'll probably have to do a sway bar bushing video. And of course, uh, I think I'm gonna have to do a drag link alignment again because the steering wheel is a little bit off now because uh, I did have to put that new upper tie rod on. But uh, yeah, man, I'll catch you guys in the next project. I'm gonna take a nap. Heck, it's late, I'm just gonna go to sleep. <laughs> like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next project. Peace. Thank you for calling. For sales, press one. For service, press two. For parts, press 3. For accounting, press... Please hold a moment. That... Hey, I was just looking for a ballpark figure on a price to do uh, upper and lower front control arms on a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, 2000, 2002. Upper control arm. It looks like it's all part of one. Let's see what's, what's the note. Let me see. If there's a note. This is. Oh, that's that's the rear. The ball joints on the rear. I just need the the front, the front four, upper, lower, and maybe the bushings that go on the axle. Uh, three forty in labor per side. Three forty uh, in, in labor per side. Per side. Is that um, both top and bottom? Both the top and the bottom. 340 per side. Is that including the parts? The price of the parts? Oh, no, I, I would have no idea what the parts cost, so I only go by labor up here. Oh, okay. All right. So that's that's a decent estimate. 340. Okay. Right. <laughs> Thanks.
Thank you so much, Matt. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Bye-bye.